There once was a boy who was about this tall. Okay, maybe this tall if you remove the shoes. He wore, <laughs> he wore glasses, walked with his head down, and did not talk much. Most days, he would come to school, sit in class, and try to take up as little space as possible. Yet as he did so, he could not help but notice everyone around him, all of you. He noticed a lot of things, but what stood out the most was your skill and your passion. Seriously, it's not just the people at the club or in the FN lab who are cooking. You are athletes and mathletes, artists and scientists, writers and debaters. You all have things that make you tick, every single one of you. And I know that sounds cheesier than the school pizza on Fridays, but I mean it. And I want you to have more chances to explore your passions. Our current student leaders and members of staff are already working tirelessly to return some of the opportunities that we lost during the pandemic. Last term, we had the science fair. Yesterday, there was an arts and poetry evening. And next term, we have a talent show to look forward to. I'd like to keep these things going, but how about we try getting a team into the National Science Olympiad? How about the eSports people take their gaming from the labs at lunchtime to the Cobis competitions? Actually, you know what you like best. So how about we have more student-led clubs where you get to share your passions with others the way you want to? Of course, as we challenge ourselves outside the classroom, we mustn't neglect our academics. I work with teachers and students to compile a list of resources that we have found very useful so that you don't have to learn things the hard way. But as that's in the works, I encourage you to take advantage of the wisdom your teachers and responsible role models have to share with you before it's too late. That said, our lives don't revolve around books. We have non-uniform days, trips, and other events on our school calendar. So, since they're already there, I just want to make them a bit more. More fun, more meaningful, and more like what you want. That could look like more dress-up days on themes that you choose, a cultural week instead of a cultural day, and more ways for you to get involved in school events. And for the record, that also includes involving members of staff as well. Because you are people too. Now, if there's anything I learned from my 800 meters two years ago, is that you shouldn't use all that you've got at the very start. Therefore, I think we should spread out these events throughout the academic year so that each term there's something to look forward to. But what's the point of all my ideas if they don't have your support? I would be willing to change every single piece of my agenda if nothing I've said clicks with you. Because this is your school and your voice deserves to be heard. That is something the school council could help with if we turn it into a school parliament where your issues get debated and solved. But let's keep it simple. If you come to me with anything that's bothering you, whether that's a homework question, something you need to vent about, or that fan that decides to stop working in period six when you're already dripping with sweat, I will try to get it solved as soon as possible. So Mr. and Madam Chair of the Electoral Commission, members of staff, and my fellow students, I am Philip Okwe. I'm committed to making a difference that you would like to see. Using my organizational, teamwork, and communication skills, in addition to my passion and dedication, I will listen to you, serve you, and make the rainbow you want to see. Thank you.